So I've got this pile of like off cuts that really should just go into a grinder when you're butchering up a deer hind quarter, um, or it could be stew meat, but I'm like super lazy and it's got like a bunch of silver skin and stuff on it because it's a bunch of different muscles. It's just all grouped together. And I'm like, you know what silver skin is good for? It's good for the crock pot. So we're going to throw these things in the crock pot. As you saw from the title and the thumbnail, we're doing a Mississippi roast here. This is traditionally done with obviously a whole piece of meat like a chuck roast or i like to do deer shoulders or neck roast this way as well um, but as you can see here it works fine with just a bunch of stew meat thrown in here uh, since deer is so lean i do like to put about a half a stick of butter in on this and then i've got a jar of banana peppers um, really put about half a jar in there on that these were the rings i prefer the whole peppers but i was just you know using what I had open already, and then a packet of ranch dressing seasoning, just the dry stuff, and then one pack of brown gravy mix. I love a Mississippi roast. If there's like a work versus outcome ratio, this is just off the charts. You put all this stuff in the crock pot, let it go on low for eight hours, and then come back. Everything is fork tender and just absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is just a little bit thinner on the gravy side than I wanted um, if you were going to put it on mashed potatoes or rice or anything like that. And my solution to that is just put another pack of brown gravy in and mix with it. Now it is fine for a jus, like if you were just going to do sandwiches with this, which is another killer thing, especially with leftovers. Just put that on bread with some Swiss cheese or provolone and it is top notch. But like I said, we are going to fix this thin issue, mix it up, and we're good to go. And of course, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you could just do this recipe with a chuck roast or a tip roast or anything else, the whole roast. But if you are butchering up your own deer and you've got a pile of meat that you really don't feel like trimming to get ready for the grinder, this is a great alternative uh, and just fantastic. Really hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching.